Pretty cool. Yeah. Here's what I can offer you today.
Not bad. Perfect. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again.
there. I need to ask you something. Me? Yes. I see your swarthy skin tone. I assume you are from the Eastern Peninsula? Yes. Swarthy? Forgive me. I am often accused of using language no longer appropriate for the time. I can see why. I am Professor Dore. Or Suto to my friends. Hello, Professor Dore. I am in a bit of a rush, so... Please, if I could ask you just one question? I guess. I am a historian, you see. I am reading widely on the history of your people. I would ask you something about your myths and legends. I'm not sure I can help you. Would you perhaps give me a ride to Midtown? We could talk on the way. I'm not a taxi. Are you not going that way anyway? I see your hover is right there. Maybe. I still don't want to give you a ride. I would pay your fuel costs. And a little extra for your time. Fine, get in then. Do you know the story of the Great Dreaming? My grandmother would talk about it, I guess. It's a child story, more of a song, really. The greatest truths are hidden in the most benign locations. Nursery rhymes, folk stories, children's games. They avoid the watchful eye of the Era Sera. I really have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a delivery driver, and I guess a taxi driver now. Great dreaming. What do your people know of it? Like I said, just the song. Which goes? I think it was like, what will become of the sleepers when they no longer dream of dreams? Something, something, I can't remember it very well. So I see. All right, well, glad I could help. I did not mean to be so dismissive. I will take note of these lyrics. Why? Every snippet of knowledge I can glean from before the Erasera is helpful. The eye did not examine your people as closely as it did mine. What is the Erasera? Do you ever wonder why our history and origins are so confused, so fractured? That's just how things are. By design. Whose? Irasira. You're going round in circles. Not circles. Cycles. That is the nature of man. Man? You know what I mean. Man and woman. And android. And the assistant things, what are they called? Automata. Yes, yes, whatever. My point is that the Irasira comes round, and every time he or she cleans the slate. The Era Sera destroys all of our history, smashes our fossils, burns our books, builds over our ruins, demolishes our temples, defaces our statues, and kills our historians. You'd better hide then. Who would have thought being a historian was so hazardous? You mock me, young woman. I hear it in your voice, but this is a serious matter. Korra would judge you for that kind of attitude. Wait, what do you know about Korra? The Erasira is the ultimate enemy of the historian, and, as an extension, humanity as a whole. If we are unable to learn from the mistakes of our past, eventually, we will make one so grievous, it will mean the end of us all. But the Erasira is a hard foe to defeat. You see, it is not just one person. It is an idea. Can we get back to what you know about Korra? Yes, yes, in a moment. You see, the Era Sera is the idea that we should destroy our own history to protect our future. As long as the Era Sera exists as a concept, it will eventually come to pass. 
The Era Sera is an irreversible event that will always be conceived given enough time. And as such, it is inevitable. Worst of all, the more we directly confront Era Sera, the stronger it becomes. Discussing the idea, as we are doing right now, only spreads it further. Well, maybe you shouldn't be talking about it with everyone who comes across your particular street corner. What you say has merit, but I believe we are close to the ascendance of a new life form, which will change everything. We must gather whatever knowledge we can, while we can. Soon, it will be taken out of our hands. We are already too late. So is the Era Sera why no one can give me a straight answer about what Korra is? I believe so. Well, what can you tell me about Korra? Nothing. Oh, come on. You completely wasted my time. I believe Era Sera is imminent, and speaking about Korra will only hasten its inception. Great. Can you tell me anything helpful at all? A lesson from history? Sure. Do not fight a war on two fronts if you are a landlocked nation. Thanks. That's really good practical advice for a delivery driver. Or a taxi driver. Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Not bad. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. We want to talk to you. So talk. What do you do? Delivery driver. You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. If you say so. Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect then. You're sassy, acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. Razor, are you a shaving robot? You don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4.0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Nah, much worse. Urban renewal, bitch. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Urban renewal? Yeah, community projects. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. I mean, no, I don't get it at all. There ain't nothing in the Volus that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. We would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... You assumed wrong, but that's alright. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. 
Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. You stay loose, Cloudpunk. We see you later. I'm Rania. I work for Cloudpunk. Who are you? You don't remember? I'm from Vince. We spoke. Maybe you don't recognize me. We can't take our mask off. I remember. Why are you here? Please, you need to help us. They are trapped. No one can get to them. All right, calm down. What happened? There was a storm. We sheltered in a cave, but it was no use. We had no choice but to follow the tunnels. Up and up, we climbed to escape. The frost chased us like demons. We were separated in the darkness. I think my brothers and sisters climbed an old vinculum into a different part of Novalis. You climbed all the way from the vents to the city? We were trapped. The only way was to climb. We did not want to shelter in the city, but we had no choice. It was so dark inside the superstructure, it is impossible to get your bearings. So what do you need from me? Please, find them. Help them get home. They may be trapped. Lost. Okay, how? I don't know. It'll be near cold ducts that flow into the city. Somewhere near a construction site, probably. That is all I can say. Can't we go back the way you came? No! It's frozen solid. The cold winds would strip the skin from your bones. There is no way back. If it's really that bad, do you think maybe your friends... In the vents, we do not lose hope till we find the bodies. We are a hardy people. We do not give up easily. I hear you. I'll try to find them. It is all I can ask. What about you? I don't know anyone else in the city. There's nothing for me here. I'll go back to where the world makes sense. Even with the storms? There are kinds of storms here too. Different, but just as deadly. Are you there? Did you hear what the moisture farmer said? Yes. Near cold air ducts. Did you find some? No. Could you search the database for abandoned construction sites below Midtown? Searching. There is a walled section west of Caledon with heavy construction. I'm adding a nav point. On my way.
There is a security door. I can hear people inside. Can it be them? Maybe it is giant rats. What if it is giant rats? I'm opening the door. I am worried about the rat possibility. You're from the vents? Yes. The door would not open. We banged and banged on it. People just walked past. They thought you were rats. They treat us with such disdain. No, literal rats. It's a real problem in the city. I see. Well, thank you for finding us. We owe you everything. Will you go back? Yes, but may we go to a bar first? Is that the word? I haven't been in the city for a long time. You both look like you could use a drink. Take this for your help. I don't need... Please take it. Thank you. Good luck getting home. Cora, bless you, Cloudpunk. <laughs> 